Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire. I'm a bit late on this, but I've finally updated my math functions for 1.16. I originally made these for 1.12, and they broke in 1.13. Since then, they have stayed broken. CloudWolf updated them for his own data pack, but now I finally got around to updating them myself, and they make use of all the new features and functions that are available. There are eight new functions that I've added to my utility data pack and I will give a demonstration now. The first is absolute value. These commands will set the value of math input one. It won't use math input two, so I'll just reset this. Then the result will be on math out. I'm resetting it here, and then it will be set by the function when it runs. Click this, and you see the absolute value of negative five is positive five. The next is divide round. Normal division on the scoreboard will take the lower of whatever the decimal place is. So if you divide nine by two, the real result, result is 4.5, but the scoreboard will just discard the decimal and call it a four. This function will round it to the nearest integer. So nine divided by two is approximately equal to five. The next one is a factorial function. Six factorial is equal to 720. The next is a logarithm function. This works with any integer base. Let's take the log base three of 81. That will be four because three to the power of four is 81. Next is the power function. You can raise any number to any power. Five to the power of six is 15, 625. We also have a root function and this works with any base of root not just square root. So we can take the sixth root of 15, 625, which as we know, will be five. We have a round function. This will round the first number to the nearest multiple of the second number. 123 rounded to the nearest multiple of 45 is 135 because that is divisible by 45 and it's closer to the 123 than 90, which would be the multiple of 45 on the other side. And finally, we have a function to get the sign of a number. For all negative numbers, it's negative one. For zero, it's zero. And for all positive numbers, it is positive one. All of these functions work by setting math in one and if required, math in two on the objective EM, and they put the result in math out. I've also included some help functions so you can see what each function does and its parameters. If we run function em help, and then let's go to divide around, it prints out this help message here. Divide two integers, uh, divide two numbers and round the result to the nearest integer. We can also see the parameters. This is the player, this is the objective, and this is a description of the parameter. And we can see what it returns. We get math out on the objective em, and then a description of the return value. If we click on set, we can paste this suggested command into the chat, and then you can set the parameter to whatever you like. So let's set it to 98. And then we'll set the other one to three. Now we can run the function, em math divide round, and we get our rounded result, 33. If you'd like to use these functions, a download link to my data pack is in the description. The rest of the video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the code for these functions because I think there's some interesting hacks and optimizations that I'm using in here, most of which is related to the limitations of scoreboard. For the first function, absolute value, there's nothing special here. It's just multiplying by negative one if it's a negative number. For divide round, it's using this formula to get around the flooring that the division of scoreboard does to get the integer result. The scoreboard will floor whatever is divided. So what we'll do to actually round it is to take the floor of the division decimal plus 0.5. However, since we can't have any intermediate values be decimals, we have to transform this in a way that works the same, but doesn't require a decimal. So we can just convert this to one over two, 
and then we can combine those to a multiplication of twice the numerator and then plus the denominator over twice the denominator, which is equivalent to this over here. That's how divide round works. For factorial, usually how you do a factorial is to use a loop or a recursive function. But I found that actually, because the scoreboard will overflow after factorial 12, it's more efficient to just hard code all the values for factorial and then print the result. For log, we're just dividing over and over again until the result is equal to zero, and then the number of divisions is the result of the log. Because the scoreboard value is a max of 2 to the 31 minus 1, the maximum value we could have for a log is 31. So we only have to do these divisions 31 times. Next, we have power. This is using an optimized power method instead of just multiplying something 20 times if you're raising it to the 20th power. I'll put a link to the description of the algorithm in the description of this video. But basically, if it's an even power, you square the base. And if it's an odd power, you multiply the output by the base and subtract one from the power remaining. It ends up with the same result, but instead of doing the max of 31 iterations, which I would have to do because the max scoreboard value is 2 to the 31, it only has to run 9 iterations. What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Actually, only 8 iterations. And then the last one just shortcuts it a little bit. For the root function, I'm using Newton -Rath, uh, Newton's method for root approximation, which is also called newton raphson The link to the Wikipedia article here, and I can put that in the description as well. Uh, it's basically just an approximation function for roots, and we have to run that a few times to get the most accurate number. I found that five iterations of this, well, actually six, six iterations of this is enough to get it accurate for pretty much the full range of scoreboard values. For rounding, it's pretty much just calling divide round because yeah, it just divides with round and then it multiplies again. So you get to the nearest multiple of the number you're trying to round to. And finally, sine is pretty much just what you'd expect. It just returns negative one if it's negative, zero if it's zero, and one if it's positive. Like I said, the download link is in the description. I'm sure you'll want to add it to your world right away, because as we all know, the best part of playing video games is doing math. So that's pretty much all for this video. I do want to mention, though, that all the other functions in my utility data pack have also been updated with help functions. So we can run that in, let's go help score TP, and then we get a help message for that too. This one includes a link to the video. I'll also have the link to this video in my math functions once it's published. I can't get it now, of course, because I haven't published the video yet. Though, have you ever seen that video Pi put out where he put the video URL in the video? Link to that in the description if you want to see it. Pretty crazy stuff, but I am not on that level, so I'm not going to be doing that this time for my functions. Well, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.